presiding officer, the SNP Green government's disdain for our farmers and crofters is all too clear to see. We even had one columnist describing Mary Goujon's approach as something you'd see at a Mad Hatter's tea party in Alice in Wonderland. Little wonder when one of the rabbits out of the hat last week from Shona Robeson's uh, budget statement was slashing £28 million from the agricultural budget. Further, £61 million of agricultural funds allocated to the SNP by the UK Treasury went missing over the last two years. Minister, where has the money gone and when will it be returned? Minister. What I would say to uh, Rachel Hamilton is the most pressing issue for the farmer, certainly in my constituency, is about the long-term certainty of funding. His Majesty's Treasury has provided yearly allocations for the current UK parliamentary term, but there is no funding commitment for 2025, and I will continue my answer if I can, I can without interruption. This has direct implications on the management for the current Common Agricultural uh, Programme, including the Scottish Rural Development Programme and the work underway in the Agriculture Reform Programme. Agriculture requires future funding certainty due to its multi-annual funding commitments and long lead-in times for farmers, crofters and land managers, a fact that I'm sure that Ms Hamilton is absolutely aware of. Supplementary, Willie Rennie. I mean, of course it would be helpful if the Westminster Government did give some clarity, but it would be equally helpful if the Scottish Government didn't cut £28 million from the agricultural budget. That's not providing any certainty for the farmers in my constituency or in hers. So when is she going to restore that cut? Indeed, when is she going to restore the £61 million that should be in the pockets of farmers? Minister. Um, Willie Rennie raises a point that is probably for the Cabinet Secretary to answer. I will refer her... I will refer, refer Willie Rennie to the Cabinet Secretary on the detail of, uh, uh, answer that he requires, and he, I'm, I'm sure that she will write to him given uh, assurances. Brief supplementary from the Carson. £61 million of ring-fenced money allocated to the Scottish Government with the UK Government has been withdrawn. The scale of hypocrisy of this Scottish Government has no bounds. Does the, Cabinet Secretary, the Minister, because the Cabinet Secretary is not here, not share the anger of farmers and crofters right across Scotland that they're asking for money from the UK Government when they get £61 million, it disappears? So as a matter of urgency, will you find out when that £61 million will be returned to the agricultural budget? And we need to speak through the Chair Minister. I will tell Finlay Carson one thing that I do absolutely share the anger on with farmers in Scotland, and that refers back particularly to the, 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 question, the question that Jim Fahey has asked about how uh, the hard Brexit has impacted on our farmers. We were assured that there would be multi-year funding uh, allocations given. Members. This, this is the most pressing issue for farmers in Scotland.